Hello and welcome to yet another Dragon PMA tutorial. Now, I just thought I'd quickly go over what the Finder window is, because um, switching from Mac to no PC to Mac, switching from PC to Mac is is sometimes quite confusing. Right. So I'll just say that these little Finder windows here, which I'm showing you, um, are actually the equivalent to Windows's Explorer window. So if you used to Windows Explorer where you go on my computer um, and, s and you've got like the, the tree menu thing on the right, uh, left, sorry. Um, this is slightly different in Mac OS X. Okay, um, first of all, I'd just like to say that the use of your files and folders and stuff is the same but how to um, to use them is different in a Mac. So, for example, you'll notice that um, applications and things are just singular files rather than um, if, I mean, you can see, oh, not that one. If you can right click uh, an application and show, show the package contents, you can see all of the little bits and bobs that actually do compile your application, like the data and the icons and um, probably sounds and all kinds of stuff but in general um, applications are stored in one file that's a, a start secondly you'll notice that things like um, this little daily majiggy which actually changes um, the layout of the window to more simple in case you're thinking whoa I've got too many buttons let's just click this and get rid of them all but I just like like this because you got search buttons and, and options and things like that um, you'll also notice that the close, minimize and zoom button instead of maximize, zoom um, uh, on the left hand side instead of the right because I, I don't know why Windows put them on right I mean you always read from left to right so why do you put the, the st well not Arabic I suppose the Arabic Windows version would be quite good but anyway um, close obviously and you'll see that it makes like a little um, animation of closing back to where it came from um, minimize which goes down straight to the dock makes a little animation um, uh, simple simple things really but I just like to say options and things like in the um, finder window options you can change all the windows or just this one window so I'm going to give an example I'm going to change just this window I can change the icon size to teeny weeny or big, big beefy icons. I'll just leave them about here. I think they'll look quite good like that. Um, all of this is pretty self explanatory. I don't really need to tell you because I'm sure you can read. Um, snapping to grid, show item information. For example, it will show you how many items are in a folder, etc. Um, also, arranging by names because some people just. I don't know, you might want to arrange them. I mean, I don't like to arrange them, um, files and stuff really I mean I have in my poll folder see they're arranged by name and also uh, you can change the background for example if I select picture I can change it to something spectacular like that oh isn't that great maybe you would like to do that also and bear in mind it only changes just one final window so you can personalize your own windows but I'm just gonna leave it as color um, to rename a file using the finder -ness. does that make sense? I don't think so, but anyway, if you want to rename a folder, like for example, I don't want to call this freeze frame, or you don't want to call this Bible, or you'd want to change the name of this to something else. Now, I found it quite hard because I was right click and um, uh, rename, rename, oh wait, rename isn't here. Uh oh, what do you do? Right, so I'm going to tell you. Renaming files and folders is very easy. Now, you'll notice on a Windows machine, if you click an icon, for example, dvcam.mov, and you press enter, oh, whoa, it didn't open. Now, that's a big difference that um, I noticed straight away. If you press enter on an icon, it doesn't open. It actually renames it, which I thought, whoa, that, that, that's a bit silly, isn't it? It's a bit stupid. So rename and icons is actually pressing enter so for example enter mama enter and your icon thing has been renamed to mama oh I don't know if you saw that because my mouse was out the way I'll do that again so so 
enter, uh, pi, enter, and it has been changed. Easy as that. Um, I'm just going to turn it back to Paul. So when you first get your, uh, your Mac and you go, okay, I'm going to run this, enter, oh wait, no, it's renaming. You might get stressed like I did at first, but I think Mac is a, a nice combination between mouse and keyboard. Double click always opens your application, enter won't. So if you select loads and you're going to, I don't know, delete and, whoa, you accidentally pressed enter, you're not going to open a million files at once and then crash your system. Um, although I did quite like the fact that you just selected it and then press enter because you can select something and press left and right and then when you've finished with whatever you want to do and you press enter well uh, sorry you can't do that on a Mac that's something that I didn't really like so um, anything else I'd like to show you about the finder window I'm not quite sure um, oh yes these on the side um, you can customize these little pictures as to your liking for example uh, Paul's Apple I don't want uh, websites I don't want these are these is usually the things that you get um, by default um, with the Mac I don't really like to change much because I'm I'm not very I like things with the uh, the the away for a reason anyway if you don't add if you want to add something you just find the file or folder you want to add for example package radio I don't know if you can add yes you can you can add files and folders and just drag it off to delete it um, I'm going to add this folder, Websites, which is kind of like an archive of websites that I made myself. Put the icon on by itself. Well, hey, if you want to know how to use icons and stuff, go to my icons tutorial. Um, it's quite easy, I think. Um, also, uh, Paul Apple. I'm going to drag that. See, uh, if you want it in between, instead of just on the bottom, you just put it in between where there's a little line there. You see? Ta-da! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and don't forget if you don't want them at all, they can be gone. If you want to make them um, big, they can be like that. I don't know, whatever you want. Um, there's nothing else I can really show you apart from the views. That um, oh, I like this view. This is something that Windows doesn't do. Um, is if you select the third view, I don't know what it's called. What's it called? Hover, hover, hover. View. Show items in a list, in columns, or as icons. Okay. So icons, list, in columns. This column view is great. Like for example, uh, I'll just show you really. You click that and then in the next column is all your stuff. Way Then in the next column is all your stuff and you've got, you can see everything. It's great. I love this view. This is something that Windows should really steal like everything else. I don't know if they have them in Vista. I don't know. I don't care. Um, yeah, that's, that's the finder window in a nutshell. Um, if your finder seems to be acting up, like it might have funny colours up at the top because you're changing your theme or whatever, or your dock seems a bit weird, or icons aren't showing or anything, I always find if you press Apple Alt Escape, like I showed in the Force Quit um, tutorial, and you've got the finder press relaunch, that always fixes whatever's wrong. Um, and you'll notice the icons disappear and come back straight away. Um, I hope you've learned something. Um, I'm sorry, I've, I've, I just woke up about five minutes ago and I, I do feel a bit groggy, so I hope that's not shown in my um, tutorials. I do apologise. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and thank you very much for listening. I'll see you later. Goodbye.